our GSRT D9 uh, worksheet one. This looks at uh, establishing area with the help of some trigonometry. So uh, a triangle, as you know, has the formula area equals one half its base times its height. In a triangle uh, like this, uh, again, it can be an oblique triangle. Oblique means a non-right triangle. A right triangle makes it very simple. You just use the two legs uh, as your base and your height. So in this case, it's just any oblique triangle. You can see uh, I've geared it to this particular base uh, here. Uh, and so I need the perpendicular height. This is really what's missing. Uh, and so I'm going to say I could introduce some trigonometry to help me out. Um, this height here could be found using the sine of angle A is the height over side C. If I do a little multiplication, if I cross multiply this, I get C times the sine of A. Taking this and plugging it in here, I get my formula, one half BC sine of A. So I would multiply the base and this side C together times the sine ratio of A and take half of it and I would obtain the area. I could, do, could have done it from the other side as well. I could have attempted to find the height from this location. That would have been the sine of C is H over A. And again, with a little cross multiplication, I would get this. And if I sub it in, I would get one half A times B sine of C. I could do it a third time if I used a different altitude and so on. But the idea is that I'm able to obtain the area using sine to help me obtain the height. Even if it's not even visible, uh, I can find it that way. So in any given triangle, <coughs> uh, labeled as such ABC with little a, little b, little c, um, you'll notice the pattern. If I use A and B as my sides, I would use the sine of C. If I used B and C as my sides, I would use the sine of A. If I used what's left, A and C, I would do the sine of B. These three relationships would all obtain the total area of the shape. Now, one of the things that happens is that our height is not always in the interior and that causes a little bit different discussion. All right. Now the discussion that happens here <coughs> is in a similar way, if we wanted to call this our base, our height is right here. And if we're going to use the trigonometry, we would need to be working in this triangle, not in this one. This leads us to a little bit of an important discussion. Um, what it would be, the, the height, if we use this as our base, again, one half base times height, if we use this as our base, the height would be <coughs> found by the sine, well let, actually let's, let's pull it out like we did before here, let's see. It would be the sine of this angle which is 180 minus A is H over C. And H equals C times the sine of 180 minus A. Now this 180 minus A uh, causes trouble because what I'm saying is that it's not this angle that I need. It's the linear pair angle, the supplement angle over here that I would need to find H over C. 
And um, this is where we learn just a, a quick little trig factor that is important, a fact. So, I mean, yes, I could plug this in. <clears throat> Let me just maybe finish that part. Now, <clears throat> this is what I want to discuss, this uh, 180 minus A. The 180 minus A <clears throat> has, a, has a unique relationship, a little shortcut. And this is a little abstract for the first time, so keep an eye on this and we'll see if we can simplify it. If I had an angle, let's say this is my angle A here, it would calculate the opposite over the hypotenuse. Of course, sine of, sine of angle A, the sine of angle A is that opposite over that hypotenuse. How, how big is the sine of 180 uh, minus A? So 180 minus A would be uh, over here. 180 minus A would be over here. 180 minus the angle of A would be this size. But what happens is it creates the identical triangle in quadrant two and when you compare the opposite to the hypotenuse in this group you get the exact same triangle but over in quadrant two and so you would get the exact same opposite the sine of 180 minus a would give you the exact same opposite height and the exact same hypotenuse size. And so we learn that the sine of A is the same as the sine of 180 minus A. Try it on your calculator uh, just to check it out. Try the sine of 20 and see if it's the sine of 160. Try the sine of 140 and see if it's the same as the sine of 40. Um, this is a, a beautiful little relationship that allows us, <laughs> even if we're finding a height that is outside of the triangle, actually would allow us to still just simply use the sine of A because it's the same as the 180 minus A. This is a little bit uh, of an introduction into a higher level of understanding and trick, but what I'm trying to teach you is that the three formulas I wrote down, um, BC sine of A, AC sine of B, um, and the other one all work out nicely whether the height is in the interior or in the exterior of the triangle.